The F-18D is an all-weather twin-engine, supersonic, carrier-capable, multi-role combat aircraft, designed as both a fighter and attack aircraft. The F-A-18D was derived from the latter's IF-17 in the 1970s for use by the United States Navy and Marine Corps. The aircraft is also used by the air forces of several other nations and formerly by the U.S. Navy's flight demonstration squadron, the Blue Angels. The F-18 was designed to be a highly versatile aircraft due to its avionics, cockpit displays, and excellent aerodynamic characteristics, with the ability to carry a wide variety of weapons. The aircraft can perform fighter escort, fleet air defense, suppression of enemy air defenses, air interdiction, close air support, and aerial reconnaissance. Its versatility and reliability have proven it to be a valuable carrier asset, such as the Grumman F-14 Tomcat in the fighter and strike fighter role. The F-18, initially known as McDonnell Douglas Model 267, was drastically modified from the YF-17. For carrier operations, the airframe, undercarriage, and tail hook were strengthened. Folding wings and catapult attachments were added, and the landing gear was widened. To meet Navy range and reserves requirements, McDonnell increased fuel capacity by 4460 pounds by enlarging the dorsal spine and adding a 96-gallon fuel tank to each wing. The wings and stabilators were enlarged, the aft fuselage widened by 4 inches, and the engines canted outward at the front. These changes added 14,000 540 kilograms to the gross weight, bringing it to 16,800 kilograms. The UIF-17's control system was replaced with a fully digital fly-by-wire system with quadruple redundancy, the first to be installed in a production fighter. This was essentially an F-18D lightened by about 2,500 to 3,000 pounds. Weight was reduced by removing the folding wing and associated actuators implementing a simpler landing gear. The revised F-18D included wing fuel tanks and fuselage stations. Its weapons capacity would increase from 9,070 kilograms, largely due to the addition of a third underwing pylon and strengthened wingtips. The outboard weapons pylons are closer to the wingtip missile rails. Because of the strengthened non-folding wing, the wingtip missile rails were designed to carry either the AIM-7 Sparrow or Skyflash medium-range air-to-air missiles, in addition to the AM-9 Sidewinder, as found on the F-18D. The F-18D is a twin-engine, mid-wing, multi-mission tactical aircraft. It is highly maneuverable due to its good thrust-to-weight ratio, digital fly-by-wire control system, and leading-edge extensions which allow the Hornet to remain controllable at high angles of attack. The trapezoidal wing has a 20-degree sweepback on the leading edge and a straight trailing edge. The wing has full span, leading edge flaps, and the trailing edge has single-slotted flaps and ailerons over the entire span. Its General Electric F404 engines were also innovative in that they were designed with operability, reliability, and maintainability first. The engine, while unexceptional in rated performance, demonstrates exceptional robustness under various conditions and is resistant to stall and flame out. The F404 engine connects to the airframe at only 10 points and can be replaced without special equipment. A four-person team can remove the engine within 20 minutes. The aircraft has a top speed of Mach 1.8 at 40,000 feet. The F-18D, each carrying four 910 kg bombs, then resumed their bombing run before returning to Saratoga. F-18 became the nation's first all-weather fighter and attack aircraft and was designed for traditional strike applications such as interdiction and close air support without compromising its fighter capabilities. The F-18D demonstrated its capabilities and versatility early in its life cycle during Operation Desert Storm, wherein the aircraft shot down enemy fighters and bombed enemy targets within the same mission, proving its lethal effectiveness as a strike fighter. Hornets taking direct hits from surface-to-air missiles, recovering successfully, being repaired quickly, and flying again the next day further cemented the robustness and survivability of the aircraft. 
The F-18 Hornet remains the workhorse of Marine Corps' tactical aviation and supports operational deployments around the globe. It will serve as the Marine Corps' primary bridging platform to the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter until its planned sundown in 2030. The F-18 will provide the battle group commander with a platform that has range, endurance, and ordnance carriage capabilities comparable to the A-6 which have been retired. The F-18D aircraft are 4.2 feet longer than earlier Hornets, have a 25% larger wing area, and carry 33% more internal fuel, which will effectively increase mission range by 41% and endurance by 50%. This allows for increased payload flexibility by mixing and matching air-to-air -air and slash or air-to-ground ordnance. The aircraft can also carry the complete complement of smart weapons, including the newest joint weapons such as JDAM and JSO Bowie. The Super Hornet can carry approximately 8,032 kilograms of external load on 11 stations. It has an all-weather air-to-air radar and a control system for accurate delivery of conventional or guided weapons. There are two wingtip stations, four inboard wing stations for fuel tanks or air-to-ground weapons, two nacelle fuselage stations for sparrows or sensor pods, and one centerline station for fuel or air-to-ground weapons, an internal 20mm M61, a one Vulcan cannon is mounted in the nose. Carrier recovery payload is increased to 9,000 pounds, and its engine thrust from 36,000 pounds to 44,000 pounds, utilizing two General Electric F414 turbofan engines. All of the more recent F-18D aircraft have incorporated a modicum of low observables technology. The Hughes pod features both navigation and infrared targeting systems incorporating third-generation mid-wave infrared staring focal plane technology.